For most of you guys at home, you already know what this thing is. This is the base of an old Singer sewing machine. And you know what, this one here has been kicking around at my place for about five years. And in that time, my wife has asked me countless times if I can just do it up, give it a coat of paint, put a top on it. And you know what, not much has happened as you can see. So she's pretty much forgotten about this, which is all the better for me because I'm actually gonna do, give this a little bit of a makeover and it'll be a nice surprise. So what I've done is I've given it a good going over with the wire brush just to remove any flaky bits or any rusty bits. I've given it a good wash down with some soapy water, a rinse with some clean water, and now I've made sure it's really bone dry. So now it's time to apply some coats of paint. Now I'm using the Hammerite. Now you want to give this a really, really good shake. I've already been shaking this for a good couple of minutes, probably three or four minutes really, but you want to just make sure that it's really well mixed. So. That's pretty good, that'll be ready to go. Now, we've got the windows open here. You wanna use it, you know, do this in a well-ventilated area. Um, you can wear a mask if you want to, I always wear them. All right, now, the idea is that we just wanna get some light coats on here. We don't wanna try and get it all done in one going over. So some light coats, and you wanna be about, you know, a good 15 to 30 centimetres away while you're doing it. You don't wanna to concentrate too much on the one spot. You wanna keep moving the can around. This first coat, it's just a real light one. Now I've gone for a nice black colour on here because at home I've actually got a lot of black ironwork inside my home with hardwood, just raw hardwood, and I want to keep the same theme going. Now this actual hammerite that I'm using here, you'll notice there's still some rust on here, but this is designed to go directly to rust, and the beauty is I don't need a primer at all, so it saves a fair bit of time. Now, you could use this as an interior or exterior finish. For me, this will be going inside, but if it was going outside, this is going to protect your iron and your steel work for up to eight years. Okay, so that's our first coat down and already the Hammerite has made a massive transformation to the old Singer base there. So while I'm waiting for that to sort of dry for my next coat, I'm gonna just get my tabletop ready. So what I've actually done is I've cut two pieces of hardwood to the identical measurement. And this is a bit of a cheater's way of, of laminating two pieces together. You could normally use a, a dowel join with glue or a biscuit join, but this is a simple and easy way to do it. I've just got a bit of hardwood. This is just uh, 40 by 19 mil hardwood. I've cut a bevel at each end. I've marked on the actual piece of timber where I want to drill my holes. And I've also made a little template on the back of this bit of timber exactly where I want this to sit. So with all that set up and ready to go, all I need to do now is just drill some pilot holes. Now, a good tip for knowing how far and how deep to go with your pilot hole is just line your screw up against the drill and you can see, basically, if I, if I take my drill in to that point there, just to the end of the actual cutting part of the drill there, I know that I'm to the right depth and I won't go too deep and I won't go all the way through to the other end, which would be very, very bad. So let's just line these up, go straight through. So that's our screws done. Let's have a look. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, that's good. All right, so our top's now done. Now this has had enough time to dry, so I'm gonna give this a couple of more coats, and then once that's done, we're gonna get this top on top, and I reckon we'll be in business. Well guys, that's all my coats done now. I've just set the top on there and already it's, done, it's really come together well. The last piece of the puzzle is just to attach this top onto the actual base. Now these singers have got a little eyelet hole already as part of the framework, so it makes it really easy. If you just use a timber uh, hex drive screw like this, and what I have done is I've pre-drilled with the drill just to make it nice and easy. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna put the next three screws in, lock down this nice and tightly. Then I'm gonna go through and just give these little heads a little touch up with some black paint. And it's the little things like that that really give you a nice finish. But you know, it's come up pretty good. And these, you know, there's a lot of these Singer bases lying around in people's sheds. And this is a really easy, simple way to put it back into nice use. You know what, I reckon my wife's gonna love this. And it might've taken me five years, but better late than never. <laughs>